Hello everyone, Leslie Nicole here with French Kiss Textures. You may have seen on my French Kiss individual store some of this black and white artwork and wondered how to use it. So today we're going to take one of these script photographs and a couple of these what I call secret weapon edges. I'll show you how to use those in your photography. All right, today I have this poppy image photographed against white and we're going to I'm going to show you how to take a texture, a script overlay and two edge overlays to make this final piece. Okay, because I don't want to make this video too long and or too complicated, I'm going to concentrate on how to use the overlays. I'm going to skip over resizing textures, layer masks, all that. I'm going to assume that you know that stuff. So first I've placed my texture chivalry and I've made a layer mask. Okay, when you get my overlays, they come with a transparent background. This is some French script from 1875. And I've gone ahead and placed it into my image. And as you can see, it comes in black with a transparent background. So how do we get the text from black to looking like that? Here's the trick. I'm going to go to my layers panel and add a solid color adjustment layer. Now for now it doesn't really matter what color you pick. We're just going to pick something that gets, gets us close to where we want to go. All right. I'm just going to choose something in there. Click OK. So first we just see this solid color. Here's the trick. Go back over to your layers panel. Click on the layer with the text in it and then hold on your Option or Alt key on the PC and select this area in between the text layer and the solid color layer. Hold on the Option or Alt and click between those. And there we go. That has applied. This is what's called a clipping mask, which means that the color is being restrained to the areas of the layer below, the non-transparent uh, areas of the layer below. Now, I already have my text set at multiply, and I want to change the color. So all I have to do is double click that color square. All right, so our color picker comes up, and this gets really cool because I can now cycle around to different colors and I can see the text changing over here. So I can try out all kinds of colors. And I'm not limited to the color picker. I can go over here and choose a color here. I can choose a color from my color swatches over here. Or I can even open up my swatches and I've already picked out the color that I want for this. So I'm going to go ahead and choose it. Here's another groovy thing. Let's say that I'm surfing around and I like that, but I'm not quite sure if I really want to use it, but I want to be able to come back to it. Add it to your swatches. Hit OK and that saves it. So if I want to come back to this, I can. All right, I'm going to reset the color I've chosen before and hit OK. Now I've already had this on multiply, the uh, text layer, but if I wanted to, I could try something else. I could try color burn. That doesn't do me much good in this color, but with another color it might. There's linear burn. It gives me a stronger um, effect. I could come down here to screen and turns white. So this is very powerful. Linear dodge. I like to multiply so I'm going to go back there. I've already created a layer mask so I'm going to activate that. And there I have my text behind my flower. Let's go on to the layer edges. 
Okay, I've placed my rough canvas edge on here in my document. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to select the layer with the rough canvas edge, add a solid color adjustment layer, and I've already picked out a color, so I'm going to go ahead and choose that from my swatches. Hit OK. Same thing, I'm going to go back, make sure my edge layer is selected in the Layers panel. Option or Alt click between the overlay and the solid color adjustment. And the color turns pink, but because I'm still on normal blend mode, it looks a little funny. Actually, I don't remember which one I used on here. I'm going to have to check on that. I think it might have been Linear Burn. I'm going to go check real quick. Yes, I used Linear Burn at 57%. There, that drops down nicely. And it'll note here, you want to do your blend modes, opacity, and all that on the actual overlay, not, oops, didn't want to open that, not on the um, adjustment layer. Okay, so make sure you're doing your blend modes and your opacities on the actual overlay. Okay, when I was creating this image, I quite liked this effect with the edge overlay. It brings a little bit of extra color and filled this negative space underneath the flower nicely. But I thought, you know, I think I like a little something else with it. So I've also added the Whimsy Edge Overlay with kind of a light green color and the overlay is set to lighten at 100%. Okay, I want to leave you with just a couple of final notes. First off, on the text, if you know you're going to be playing around a lot with the text, resizing it, angling it, rotating it, um, turn it into a smart object first. I'm going to cover that in a different video, but keep that in mind. Number two, you, I'm also going to be creating brushes for the edge effects and the script, which are easier to use. You get very slightly less quality, but in many cases it's unnoticeable, the difference. So look for those in the future. Those are easier to use. And that about does it today. Thank you so much. Check the website. I'm going to put notes, uh, additional um, keyboard shortcuts, etc. on the website. Thank you.